Oh, for sure. Like, people definitely want to just, like, get music out now, you know? Because now, especially, like, that, like, people are, like, back outside and clubs are opening up and shows are back on. Like, yeah, people just definitely want to drop some new music. Like, I've even been, like, I started DJing shows the last couple months now. And, like, just, like, being on stage and just, like, getting that feeling from energy and, like, playing some of the records for the first time. Like, you know, even some of my favorites, you know? Like, it's, like, it's amazing to, like, see, like, what people are vibing to now and stuff. I don't feel like I'm the type of producer that just goes to like the same like five drum sounds. I like to experiment and switch things up. And if I make R&B, then all my recent files are R&B drums. And so I'm always kind of switching it up a little bit. But then, you know, like I'll go back to a beat I made a year ago and be like, damn, like these drums are hard. Like, you know, like I gotta bring these ones back. What I do is I tend to like save all my uh, projects as zip files. So you can just like open the zip and you can kind of like see like the drums that were used in that. Instead of just like opening the FLP and then like messing around with it and stuff. I used to do tight beats all the time because I was trying to like build, like gain traction to my name. Cause nobody knew who Murder Beats was at the time, you know? So I was like doing like Chief Keef type beat when Chief Keef was hot. So then people would type in Chief Keef on YouTube and my beat would pop up and they would click it. You know, so it was just like driving traction to my YouTube channel and my name and my Twitter and my Facebook and you know what I mean? I wasn't even really on Instagram at the time. My presets for Beatmaker definitely would have helped a lot I just used to go on the internet and find like random drum kits and then kind of just figure it out myself, you know? Like I like, I played drums like growing up and stuff. So I would like, I taught myself like music, you know? I didn't really like learn it from anybody. So I would like listen to the songs and I would just like play along to them. So it's kind of like the same thing when I started producing, I just like would listen to songs and I would like, like almost like replicate, you know what I mean? Like, you know how they say like the best people can, can replicate things, you know? I started putting this together last year and then I finished it like this year. So like in the process of making this, that's when I decided to make the quarantine kit. So like this has kind of been something like that I was doing for a little bit, you know? But there's definitely like a lot of different sounds in this one. Like the last kit, it was more like a go-to starter kit, you know, like a certain type of sounds. And this is more like experimental and like sounds I've been using. And then I like mix them like a certain way and stuff, you know? There was definitely like a lot of sounds that I, I cut out of it just over time. Cause like as a producer, when you're making a lot of stuff, like you tend to like just go to your recent files a lot. So like your and your recent files always kind of switch up whenever you download some new sounds or like the sounds that you use, I feel like every like five, 10 beats kind of changes. So over time, over like a year of putting something together, it's just like, yeah, just like the sounds just keep changing all the time. And then I like certain sounds more than other ones and I'm swapping stuff out. So I definitely have enough sounds like in the process of making this one, I could make like a whole nother kit, you know? The way I pick sounds is definitely like a mixture of like, if I'm listening to a melody or something, if like, I'm like, okay, this drum sounds amazing with this or like how it feels, you know what I mean? Mostly like how it feels. I usually go off feeling. Obviously there's like the go-to things I put in my beats, like, like my chant and like, there's like certain little hi-hats and stuff, but I'm always trying to switch it up, you know? Because the, the, the sound of music constantly changes. I feel like it used to change like every like few years. Now I feel like it changes every six months, six to eight months, you know? So maybe I'm, I'm inspired by like a certain song that I heard recently. I might try to like go off that in my own way or, you know what I mean? Like everything in music is inspired by something, you know what I mean? And that's for people, it's not bad. Like, you know, like everything is inspired. Like my sound is inspired by this person, this person, this person, this person, and everything together. That's me, you know what I mean? So you're going to get inspirations from everywhere. So like you might hear a song and be like, yo, I like that snare and try to like replicate that, but then like mix it in your own way. So like, you know, I've been spending a lot of time at home. You know, I know everyone's getting outside now and stuff. So I've been like starting to travel. So like, um, just wanted to like put together like a new pack of sounds that I could go into sessions with. And then also like a lot of other people as well, you know? It would be cool to like hear like a song and be like, yo, this song, like one of my favorite songs for like this year, next year, and like hear a couple of my sounds in it. Like I was like very surprised like when um, the iced out kick from my last kick was like one of like the most downloaded kicks on Spice last year or something. I was like, damn, that's crazy, you know? Cause like putting the kick together, I would have never thought that, you know? Or like picking the kicks, I would have never been like, yo, this kick is gonna be the number one most downloaded kick, you know? Like, so it's cool. <laughs>